Hello everybody, welcome back to Greg's video YouTube channel. As I promised you yesterday that I'll be back again here at Jalan Sayo. Yeah, that's right, right in the center of KL. Right in the middle of the city center of Kuala Lumpur, Jalan Sayo, that's the name of the street. It's Jalan Sayo. It's a back lane street that filled with a lot of wonderful uh, street food. Uh, Malaysian street food which is uh, all Malaysian likes it so this is the place that you need to come so yesterday or the other episode the previous episode that I already showed to you that half of the shops that I've uh, tried and now I'm gonna try the other half of it and today is Thursday Thursday apparently half of the stalls are actually closed as you can see Thursday so if you are here in Kuala Lumpur on Thursday Half of these shops or half of these stalls are actually closed and the other half is on this side of the, of, of the street. There are many are also closed but there are few that uh, they are open. So I'm going to try those food or those stalls that open and I'm going to tell you the verdict and how is it, how is it taste like and how much it costs. Let's go. Okay, so I'm here at the first stall here. I'm going to try out this first stall here. Apparently, this is also something very, very special, very, very unique. So we have got this uh, kway teow and then and we have got a yam cake over here and then we have got this rice cake over here and then of course we have got some fish balls some fried fish balls some fried um, um, soybean uh, type of um, with fish paste and of course uh, the highlight is the, the curry okay so you can order a different different type of um, uh, what is that this uh, fish ball and the uh, uh, fried uh, bean and then you can actually mix it with the, the kway teow or the yam cake or the, or the rice cake Alright, so one of the second stall that is uh, one of the popular stall over here in Jalan Sayo is also this porridge Yeah, so this porridge you have got a choice of seafood you have got a choice of uh, pork and uh, Hey, you have the chow and the seafood, and the fish, and the fish? Fish. Oh, so the many different types of uh, pork organs that you can actually add inside the, the porridge. So... Ah, Jiang Xue Leng Yao. Oh, okay, so this is uh, also another uh, popular dish, popular street food that you have to try over in this uh, lane over here. Okay? Yeah, so... This one over here. Oh, this is what you call the apam balik. Okay, so yeah, it's a uh, corn and nuts, white sugar and nuts. And I have personally tried this uh, yesterday, and I have to say that it's really, really good. All right. Okay, so this is also another very special noodle. Uh, it's it's a hybrid of uh, wonton mee, wonton noodle, and also like the hakka noodle, which is also very rare that you can find in uh, not easily found in many different uh, restaurant or hawker centers. You know, yeah. So this is definitely a must try. Come over here, take a look at it. Right, I'm standing in front of this uh, fried chicken stall. In this fried chicken stall, even when I was standing over that side, I could really, I could really smell the aroma of the fried chicken. So this is definitely another must try because this is another uh, a very different type of fried chicken compared to Kentucky fried chicken or, or Texas fried chicken. This is the local street food Malaysian fried chicken that you have to try. I'm telling you, so I'm gonna order. As well, I'm gonna ask them to send it over to my table so that I can eat them all. Okay, so standing right next to the busy street of 
Kuala Lumpur in KL. This is the beginning of the street of that lane. Okay, so this is the first stall actually. And uh, you have got the Portuguese egg tart. You have got the yam, uh, yam fried yam with pork inside. You have got the siu pao, which is the big type of uh, type of uh, um, cake. I don't even know what it is, the name, the actual name in English. But and then you have got a different type of um, steam uh, pao and uh, steam um, uh, dim sum. This is also again another place that or another stall that you have to try their food and it's so easily accessed in just one lane you can get so many different types of food so I'm gonna order some I'm gonna try them so finally to uh, quench your thirst this is also another stall that you need to visit auntie you have to here? oh oh she's the second generation okay she said it's 80 years she has been here. That means she's the second generation since the time of her mum. So these are all um, herbal tea, Chinese herbal teas. You know, if you have uh, sore throat, if you are having fever, you know, you can actually ask her to add some of the Chinese uh, medicine into your, your drink. And this is definitely one of the best places to actually cool down your body and to quench your thirst. I went stall to stall, I ordered them, I asked them to send to this table here, and they are all here. Mm. I've got this fried rib, I've got a Thai and the fries, and also this. What is this? Mm. What is this? I think it's a type of uh, chicken type of. Uh, wait, wait. I don't know what it's called, but it's 10 bucks. These noodles is uh, six, six ringgit, six fifty. This one is about four ringgit. With this, about two ringgit over here, and then all this uh, mix of different small things. I paid about twelve ringgit. Price-wise, is really, really reasonable, and it looks really good. I'm gonna try it out now. Hmm. Hmm. This is a rice cake. This is really rare. You can not easy to find that you can easily find anywhere in any other hawker store. The sesame seed and the curry. Yeah, that's the highlight of this. And uh, this is a, a pork pork skin or pork belly be, belly skin. This skin, the pork belly skin, so crunchy and yummy. Hmm. Hmm. As, as, as I mentioned to you that there are many stores still not open today, so actually you need three days to enjoy all the many different type of food in just, just this one location. So you don't need to go to many different locations. You know, you can only just you have. You don't need to travel, so difficult. You can only uh, here. You can there's a car park here, and uh, you can order a grab. You can get a grab over here, or you can actually walk over here if you're staying nearby. A lot of hotels around here as well. Yeah, so this is something which is very different as well. See the it's a very dry type of noodles. It's quite a huge portion. Too. It's only 650, 6 ringgit 50 cents. And then you've got vegetables and minced meat. And uh, this is the barbecue pork. Mm. Yummy. You can take my word to it. You will not regret coming over to here, to this place here, to enjoy all the local street food. And 
Inggris Orgi Spy itu tak Very popular Then being sold in Macau You can get it here This is 1 ringgit 50 cents This is 3 ringgit 50 cents This is prawn crackers Yes, prawn crackers And this one is uh, apam balik ah, There is uh, peanuts here And also the sweet corn over inside here With sugar That's thirst. that's tasty right? That's amazing right? Yeah I'm gonna try this Mm. If you like peanut butter, you're gonna love this. Dip it with the, some chili sauce over here. See the, the prawn, the fried prawn. Mmm. Mmm. Once again, kind of sweet food that you want to eat when you are in Malaysia, in the city center of Kuala Lumpur, right here in Jalan Sayo. I hope you enjoyed my video, this episode for today. I hope to bring you to other places to eat and to share with you more other good places to eat. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe my channel, ring the bell. See you again. Bye-bye.